On the surface, virtual desktop infrastructure and desktop as a service seem incredibly similar. VDI virtual desktop infrastructure is the technology that enables the creation of virtual desktops on a remote server setup. Now you can see the simplified diagram showcasing the VDI architecture. Desktop as a Service is a cloud-based service in which a third-party service provider offers their customers VDI-based virtual desktops over the cloud. This is the scheme that illustrating the DAS architecture. But before we continue, hit that subscribe button and like this video if you want to see more useful guides. Part 2. Cost of Deployment Overall, the total cost of ownership of VDI can be higher than DAS, especially for small and medium-sized organizations. VDI requires significant upfront investment in infrastructure and IT expertise, while DAS offers a more cost-effective and scalable solution. However, for larger organizations with specific customization needs and a need for on-premises data storage, VDI may offer a better value. Part 3. Access to Resources VDI deployment is based on a single tenant model, meaning resources and distribution are dedicated to a single organization. With DAS, most services are multi-tenant, meaning you dynamically share resources with other organizations, which could interfere with service should there be a disruption. Part 4. IT Management Compared to DAS, with VDI, IT has much more control over on-site VDI servers, including everyday maintenance and security, network performance, troubleshooting, and all software and hardware updates. Part 5. Pros and Cons of Both Technologies Speaking about VDI advantages, it should be noted that VDI is a good solution for long-term savings. Also, it's easier to manage and control. Security is also important to mention. Organizations that handle confidential or sensitive data may prefer controlling this data and related security measures internally. As for disadvantages, pay attention to infrastructure costs, the need for regular maintenance, and a strong and reliable network connection. Compared to VDI, DAS is more cost-effective because it doesn't require significant infrastructure investments. DAS also entails a much easier deployment process and makes it incredibly easy to scale. On the other hand, there are some customization limitations. What's more, storing data in the cloud can raise concerns about data security and compliance for some organizations. Choosing between VDI versus DAS may seem difficult. If your organization is stable in growth, has a geographically centralized workforce, and can handle the resources and costs involved with deployment and maintenance, on-premises VDI may provide the infrastructure you need. However, if you are looking for a more agile solution that will future-proof your business, DAS may be the solution for you. If you have any questions, please leave the comment below. Stay tuned.